Good morning, everyone. It is the AM Icebreaker for Friday, Friday, March 9th. We are, this is the, what, second to last Friday before the Game Developers Conference, and I am rush, rushing to get my uh, my presentation finished. Actually, I think I'm going to do a run-through this morning and then a bunch of them this week. Um, it's really interesting. I actually feel like um, this is probably the one I'm the best prepared for. You know, the, the last couple of times I spoke at Game Developers Conference, I remember, like, right up to the minute I got on stage, I was I was going over and tweaking my presentation, and, you know, it's like, it's like I would have my slides done, but I remember... I remember last time I spoke at the Tech Art Bootcamp, for example, I was I was sitting on stage between between talks, kind of just running over my talk and, and changing changing talking points at the very last minute. And um, and thankfully this time, I think because I'm talking about movement and mobility, I, I'm actually really excited. Not that I wasn't doing them, but this one, I'm I'm really excited for this talk. And two, um, I think it's gonna be different. I like the fact that we're actually gonna be doing some active work. You know, so how's that for a uh, a little different thing to do in a tech conference, go and speak about mobility and movement and actually take people through, you know, especially a population like software developers, you know, we all even, and you know, even though we're getting better, you know, we've all got our standing desks now and a lot of the bigger companies have great gyms. You know, I think we have like, we actually have three gyms at Facebook that just blows my mind. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I think, I think there's, 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 there's more we can do. There's more work to be done. So I'm, I'm very, I'm actually very lucky that the, that the conference organizers decided to accept my talk and allow me to to kind of bring some of the the results of, of all the the study and work I've been doing over the last three years as far as movement co coaching to a, to a new population, especially a population that's very near and dear to my heart. I know some people think I hate the game industry, and and it's true I do hate the the the, the business part and the management aspect of the game industry. But I love I love making games, and you know I have so many great friends in the game industry and. I mean, I, I can't hate on it. it. It's, I mean, I got, you know, making games got me where I am today. And, you know, and, and I, I definitely don't regret any of it. So, you know, for, for all you people who think that I, I just hate games and hate the industry, no, no, no. I, I, just, I just hate the business side of it and kind of how, you know, how, how, how poor management is continually allowed to wreck people's lives. But that's no secret. We all know that. So, uh, like I said, you guys, you guys know, if you want to a movement screen at the conference, let me know. Um, I'm not planning to be on site the whole time, but if, uh, you know, I'll definitely run up to the city if somebody wants, you know, if somebody wants to, you know, go through some movement stuff, go through a screen or, you know, whatever, you know, any, anything like that. I mean, I'm even willing to, to do, um, you know, if somebody wants kind of like a, like a short one-on-one, -on -one, especially after the talk, you know, we can definitely do that. So uh, leave me, also leave me questions for this weekend. We're going to be talking strategy, tactics, um, like I said, um, goal setting, time management, knowing the path, walking the path. So, and I actually want to, I, I kind of want to preface some of that a little bit today by talking about um, strategy and tactics a little bit. Um, I, I, I saw <laughs> two, two seemingly unrelated talks, but actually they're, actually I think it was three, but they actually kind of come together in, in a very interesting way. One, one of them was by uh, Tim Kennedy, uh, sheep of sheepdog response one was it was a uh, of by Ryan Hoover of, of aperture fight and these guys are talking about you know active shooter self-defense and then the last one was by uh, Gary V Gary Vaynerchuk hopefully um, you know who Gary Vaynerchuk is if you're at all interested in trying to start your own business or do your own thing if not um, I mean he's basically the guy that taught us all how to make money on internet by by, by, by creating content and um, I'll, I'll post a link to all of these talks in the in the description but the thing that really bound these three talks together was the idea of being strategic versus being tactical. And, you know, to me, that's a, you know, this whole thing, that's a very near and dear topic to my heart because, um, you know, I think about, say, my path into the fitness industry. I mean, I am the... I am the, the quintessential cert junkie, you know, and, and people, I personally, I don't say that as a derogatory term, even though I think everybody else does. You know, this idea that you know, you, you have to, that, that, that getting weekend certifications is, is total BS. And if that's all you do, and granted, if that's all you do, yeah, it is total BS. You do need to practice. But the idea that you can be completely tactical, that is like, yeah, just get clients and just, just start working with people. I mean, there are people out there who I know have made a run of that, but I think there's also something to be said for being strategic. You know, there's, and, and especially in business, you know, there's something to be said for, sitting down and planning and you know doing doing kind of all the unsexy stuff building the infrastructure you know writing your brand comms writing your your vision doc you know that's you know to me those are things that i didn't really know about until i i went through my um my mentorship with, with sarah jameson 
And I, I got to say, those are probably the most valuable things that I did. Because prior to that, for example, I just thought I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I, I didn't know if I was just going to start teaching group classes, if I was going to strength and conditioning. And really sitting down and writing out what my vision was and what I thought my language was and kind of where I saw myself positioned based on my strengths and weaknesses really, really helped me hone in on the idea of being a movement and mobility coach versus just kind of a, a guy who can sort of do strength and conditioning and sort of do some martial arts and sort of do some movement and sort of do some tech stuff and, you know, and trying to figure out how that was going to work. And, and, and another part of strategy that I, that I want to talk about is, uh, and, and this is going to be a bit of a rant, so, so, this is, so we're, we're probably going to run a little long today, but that's all right. Um, is is do do your homework, you know, back to Gary V, you know, the, the, the Gary V talk was was uh, was was particularly touching for a few reasons. And, and full disclosure, you guys know I, I work for Facebook, so I, I don't mean to come off as a shill, but whatever, if I do, that's fine. But if you've known me for a while, you know that I love social media. I think social media is is great. I've had nothing but good experiences and actually and, and I've actually had professional success from social media. So I have to, you know, I'm, I'm going to be the first guy to tell you, like, to take that stuff seriously. And one of the things he said was that uh, Gary Vee said in his talk, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to post that, and I hope you watch it because it's, it's, it's a great talk if, if you're trying to do, like I said, if you're trying to do your own thing, do your own business. But one of the things he said was, it's amazing to me how people complain about the Facebook algorithm, and it's something that's free. You're complaining about something that's free that's helping you get business. So... And and if you if you want to if you want to control the algorithm, pay for it. Now, I'm not gonna be so. I'm I'm not gonna be so 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 uh, so cliche as to say you know make money to spend money. But but I'm gonna say do your homework. You know I mean you know and and you know again this is gonna turn into a little bit of a rant. But like another thing you know I, I saw a post from one one of my friends the uh, the other day who said something like like I really hate that Facebook. You know, it disables audio. The, the 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 more you do that, the, the less I'm going to use Facebook. Well, first of all, okay, if if, if you're going to get off Facebook, uh, delete your account because uh, because otherwise, otherwise Facebook is still going to make money off you. But here's the thing, and not just Facebook, YouTube, like Twitch. You know, I just started streaming on Twitch and I, and doing all this research, and all these platforms are trying to meet people halfway, so they're incurring costs to themselves to. To help stop that, because obviously they don't want you to leave the platform, but they can't, you know, you can't have everything. So, for example, with Facebook, you know, and I even posted an article about this, and this actually really kind of grinds my gears. I posted an article in a couple places about how Facebook has all these, you know, tracks that you can stream, you can use for behind your videos, for example, that won't get you, you know, they've made deals with the publishers, with the with the with the copyright holders that won't get you kicked off the platform, you know. But but in, and but then you know the next day I still see people, oh, I'm in Facebook jail because it's like well. Are you even trying? Are, are, are you doing your homework? Are, you know, like I said, these platforms are meeting you halfway. Do you know? Strategize a little bit. Quit being so tactical. Quit, quit saying, quit, 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 quit just, quit just saying that whole like that weird entitlement sounds like. No, no, no. I have to do everything my way. Otherwise, it's not genuine. And, and screw, you know, like I said, screw Facebook for not being for not giving me everything I want for nothing. You know, be be a professional. I guess is what I'm saying. Understand how to best leverage things because I guarantee you, there's a way you can do it. And you know, like I said, don't strategize. Plan. Understand the understand the, the battlefield layout, and then be tactical. Then, once your plan is in place, once you know how to, you know how how to get the most bang for your buck, how to not get kicked off the platform, or you know, how to not get kicked out of a gym, how to not lose clients because you're just kind of trying to because you're just fishing for answers, then you can go all in. All right. So, like I said, that turned into a little bit of a rant. That's fine. I don't care. Um, I probably need to do that more. Actually, that feels really good. No, nah, I don't want to turn this into a rant show. But um, but yeah, that's that's what I got. So like I said, this went a little long. I don't care about that either. And um, yeah, I'll be talking. Remember, Sunday, it's coming. Cheers.